Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. Next ID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. The carnage continued in the crypto market as total market capitalization got as low as $140 billion U.S. yesterday. At the time of recording, data from CoinMarketCap indicates that the total market cap is sitting at $149 billion, a slight recovery, though still lower than yesterday's crypto corner when it sat at $155 billion. As the so-called hash war between Bitcoin Cash SV and ABC continues, the Craig Wright-favored SV team is generating controversy. CCN reports that the hard fork had its blocks reorganized by CoinGeek, a move that many players view as highly centralized and consequently against the spirit of blockchain. CCN quotes Cornell University professor Emil Gunsirer on the perceived folly of the move, quote, Their blockchain's tale just got rewritten as if someone ripped out the last few pages and wrote over them. This is an indication that their system parameters are outside the safety envelope of their network. In short, they don't know what they're doing, end quote. North Korea has announced that it is hosting a crypto and blockchain conference in April of 2019. A promotional website outlines the event, which costs 3,300 euros or $3,763 U.S., and includes tours of Pyongyang and the DMZ. The conference marks the first time that international experts in the blockchain and crypto space have been invited to North Korea. And Washington news outlet The Wenatchee World reports that crypto mining firm Gigawatt filed for bankruptcy on Monday. The company claimed to be insolvent and unable to pay its debts when due in cited court documents. Gigawatt listed assets of between zero to fifty thousand dollars and liabilities between ten million to fifty million dollars. The story also reveals that the company is facing eviction in Douglas County. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, Next ID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.